Hello and welcome to the Networking Basics mini lecture series. In this mini lecture we will cover the basics of binary to decimal conversion. A solid understanding of the mathematical operations are necessary to IPv4 address. In this first part we will cover the basics of numbering systems. We will look at what positional notation is and we will conclude by walking through several examples together. We are all accustomed to numbers. We use them on a daily basis. The numbers we use without even knowing is the decimal system. The decimal system is the base 10 system where the digits take a value from 0 to 9. Computers do not understand the decimal system. Computers understand zeros and ones. The smallest unit of information that a computer deals with is a zero or one or the binary system. The binary system is base two where a digit takes a value of zero or one. In the positional notation system the value of a digit depends on the position of that digit in the number. For example, in the decimal system, the value of a digit would be the value of the digit times 10 uh, to uh, the value of that digit, whereas in a binary it would be the digit value times 2 exponent the uh, positional value. Let us look at some examples. So P is the position of or the position number of the digit. For example, if we look at number one, two, three, three is at position zero, two is at position one, and one is at position two. What is the value of this number? Continuing our example, uh, for binary number 11010, the 0 is position 0, 1 is position 1, the 0 is position 2, the 1 is position 3, and the first one is position 4. The rightmost, or the least significant bit, is position 0, and always the leftmost, the most significant bit, is position 4. The value of a digit depends on its positions. The last digit are units. The second last are uh, tens and the third and last are hundreds. For example, number 254, uh, the 4 is in the units, the 5 is in the tenths, and the 2 is in the one hundredths. So what is the value of 254? computed using the positional notation. Well, we take our 4, our digit value, and multiply it by the positional weight, which is 10 to the 0, plus 5, which is the digit value, times its positional weight, which is 10 to the 1, plus 2, the digit value for that number, 
times tens to the 2, which equals 4 plus 50 plus 200. No surprise, 254. Now let us apply the same principles of positional notation to a binary number. The value of a digit in a binary number depends on its position. So the last digit, or the least significant bit, weighs 2 to the 0, 2 exponent 0. The second lat, last weighs 2 to the 1, or 2 exponent 1. And the third last is 2 to the 2, to the two which happens to be 4, 2, and 1. For example, looking at binary 111, not decimal, but binary 111, uh, our first, our least significant bit, least significant bit is position 0, followed by position 1 and position 2. Now let us use the positional notation system to convert this number to a decimal. So the first position, the first digit, has a value of 1 times its weight. Second number has a value of 1 times its weight. The third number has a, or third digit, has a value of 1 times its weight equal to 1 plus 2 plus 4. Therefore, equals to 7. So binary 111 is equivalent to decimal 7. What are the conversion steps? There are two steps. The first is we compute the values of each position. So each position has a positional weight times the digit value for that position. And that gives us a position value. The result is the sum of all these position values. In the case of a binary number, if we want to convert to decimal, we apply this very simple positional notation method. So here in binary, we have the first number is weight. or position 0, position 1, position 2, position 3. So let's compute the value of each position. So looking at our third position here, we, would, we have a digit value of 1 times the positional weight is 2 to the 3 plus 0 is our digit value times 2 to the 2 plus 1. So we have our 3 here. We have our 2 there. We have our 1. Uh, 1 times 2 to the 1 plus, finally, our last or least significant bit, our digit value is 0 uh, times uh, the positional weight, which is 2 to the 0. So let's summarize that at the bottom. 1 times 2 to the 3, 2 to the 3 is equal 8 plus 0 times 4, well 0 times anything is always equal 0, plus 1 uh, to the 2 is 2, plus 0 times 0 is always 0, so our result will be 8 plus 2, 10. Therefore, 1, 0, 1, 0 binary is equal to 10 decimal.
when converting 8-bit numbers or when converting octets you should always keep this positional chart handy you should always keep this chart handy what this chart shows is the positional value for each of the bits in our 8-bit number it is quite simple to remember the first position is always 1 times 2 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 times 2 32 times 2 64 times 2 128 as you will not be permitted access to calculators you can always jot this down uh, in your working papers or worksheet papers and uh, they will be deemed to be extremely useful so let us apply this notational chart or positional notation chart to converting this 8-bit number of 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 as we learned before, 0 times anything is always equals 0, yes. So let's not even bother figuring out what the, the sum of the first 7 bits will be. They will be equal to 0. So what this number converted it to decimal, so here we have a digit uh, with a, a value of z of 1 multiplied by its positional weight of 1 equals no surprise 1 so this 8 bit or this octet is represents decimal 1 now to the next example here we have binary binary 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so again uh, re remember we are dealing with converting octets 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 are 8 bit numbers 8 bit binary numbers 2 so we are converting octets to decimal and uh, as let's erase this as we do not need it you will always draw the positional chart for an octet as we recalled before it's 1 times 2 times 2 times 2 8 times 2 16 times 2 32 times 2 64 times 2 128 gives us the positional value in this uh, example we will not waste any time determining what the values are for the uh, for the last seven bits you should have come to that conclusion already that the value will be zero therefore we only need to compute what the positional value of our most significant bit is and it happens to be 128 therefore our number our binary number is equal to 128 decimal look at a few more examples here let's uh, let's oops, sorry let's convert 0 0 0 this is equals to yes no surprise zero so this is the lowest possible value uh, that ki that a an 8 bit number can take an 8 bit binary number the lowest possible value is zero decimal now let us look at the maximum value maximum value is when all bits have the highest possible uh, value in their digits all ones so in order to compute the decimal value we simply add the weight of each position 
and the uh, the sum of the the weight of each position gives us the decimal value. So it'd be 128 plus 64. Well, why not use our our uh, positional chart here? So 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 blah so on so forth is equal I know the number already it's 255 so the maximum decimal value that can be taken by an 8-bit binary number is 245 so in between would be 1 2 all the way to 254 and finally 255 Now, let us look at another number. Look, no surprise that we have the positional chart already drawn out for you. So this one will be pretty simple too. We know that uh, this position is 128. Everything else you know, will be 0. And we know that the la or the uh, position 0 is 1. Therefore, this binary number is equivalent to 129 decimal. Now let us look at this one. So let's write the num positional numbers just for... let's do it this one time. So 7-0, not even bother writing it, so let's do the same thing here. Seven six five four three two one zero. All right. So six we have a value. Therefore, position six has a weight of sixty four. Position four a weight of sixteen. Position two a weight of one. And finally, position one has a weight of. Oh, pardon me. Uh, pardon me, a position 2 will have a weight of 4. I got mixed up here. So let's start over again. So position 6 is 54. Position 4 is 16. Position 2 is 4. And position 0 is 1. So if we add all of these up, uh, we arrive at 64 plus 16 will be 80, 84, 85. So this binary number is 85 decimal.